Good morning and buenos dias. I am Abu Shaib and welcome back for another lesson in Puerto Rican Express, the fastest way to fluency. This morning we're going to take a look at politics, words and phrases that are related to politics. As usual, we'll start off with a little bit of basic vocabulary and then we'll go on to some more complex ideas when talking about politics in Spanish and some ideas that are exclusive to Puerto Rican politics. But for now, I want to share something that was posted by my wife's political uncle. And we'll talk about who my wife's political uncle is in a moment. For now, let's take a look at the word politics. The word politics is basically a compound word taken from ancient Greek with a prefix poly. Prefix in Spanish is prefijo, prefijo. Poly means many or muchos. And tick in Spanish, as in the tick on my dog or a deer tick, is garrapata, garrapata. Mi perro tiene garrapatas. My dog has ticks. Mi perro tiene garrapatas. My dog has ticks. Garrapata is a compound word. Garra is claw. Garra is claw. Pata, pata is paw or hoof. And I could not remember the English word for hoof. I had to look it up. Pesunia is also Spanish for hoof. Pata, pata can also mean female duck. El pato donor is Donald Duck. Pato can also mean gay. It's not quite as offensive as some of the words we use in English. Nonetheless, it's usually used behind the gay person's back. Pato. So if you hear somebody talking about somebody being pato, especially in Caribbean Spanish, they're talking about somebody being gay. Blood-sucking vermin. Ticks are blood-sucking vermin. Blood-sucking, obviously a compound word, which is usually hyphenated in English, I believe, is chupa sangres. Chupa sangres. Chupa is the verb chupar, to suck. This household article in Spanish, Puerto Rican Spanish, is called el chupón, el chupón. However, this does not suck. It works very well. Vermin, vermin in Spanish is sabandija. However, this is kind of an ugly word. It's not very often used, even in the press. When we talk about pest control in Spanish, pest control, we talk about control de plagas. Control de plaga, pest control. And the tactic that we most often use for pest control, unfortunately, is poison. El veneno, el veneno. Bendito veneno, poison. Blessed poison. Politics. Politics, politics. La política. Politics in Spanish is la política. This word can also mean a female politician. A politician is un político. A female politician is una política. Una política can also be translated to a policy, as in, es una política de la compañía. It's a company policy. Es una política de la compañía. It's a company policy. Política can also be used as an adjective to describe your family by marriage, specifically in the case of uncle or aunt. Your tío político is the man that is married to your aunt, and your tía política is the woman that is married to your uncle. Your other in-laws in Spanish have specific words. Brother or sister-in-law, respectively, are cuñado or cuñada. Brother or sister-in-law, cuñado, cuñada. And mother and father-in-law are suegro y suegra. Suegro y suegra. Vote. To vote in Spanish, the verb is votar. And you vote for someone. Votar para alguien, para alguien. Party. Party in Spanish. When we talk about politics, it's partido, partido. When we're talking about my favorite movie, House Party 3, it's fiesta. Partido can also mean uh, organized sports activity, especially a, a professional football game or basketball game. Partido de baseball or partido de baloncesto. Baloncesto is basketball. Partido de baloncesto, basketball game. The political parties, in Puerto Rico, we have two main political parties that correspond with the two main political parties in the United States. The party that corresponds with the American Democratic Party, or the Clinton group this year, is called the PPD, or PPD in Spanish, PPD, El Partido Popular Democrático, El Partido Popular Democrático. For short, we just call them populares, populares. Their color is red. I ran out of red construction paper. This is kind of fuchsia. Their symbol is the jibaro. Jibaro is like a traditional Puerto Rican worker, and he's wearing the traditional Puerto Rican hat La pava, P-A-V-A, -A, pava, sombrero puertorriqueño, pava. And the three words that surround this symbol are pan, tierra, y libertad, 
which is bread, land, and liberty, or freedom. Liberty and freedom are the same word in Spanish, libertad. The party that corresponds with the Republican Party, or the Trump group this year, is the Partido Nuevo Progresista, the PNP, 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 Partido Nuevo Progresista. Their symbol is the palm tree. This, is, this group advocates statehood, and this group advocates to continue on with Puerto Rico's uh, current political status. Ballot. Ballot in Puerto Rican Spanish, or in any Spanish, is uh, papeleta, papeleta. Here in Puerto Rico, we have three ballots, tres papeletas. Your uh, state, state ballot, which is the governor and the state level elections. And then the district level, there are eight districts, as we'll see here on this list, eight districts in Puerto Rico. And then you have your local level, the, the local government of the town, the mayor and such. Congress and Senate, respectively, Congreso y el Senado. A congressman is un congresista, a senator is un senador. House of Representatives, House of Representatives in Spanish is la Cámara de Representantes, la Cámara de Representantes. I'd like to point out that in most countries, these institutions are called Parliament, and the members of Parliament are called Ministers, Ministers of Parliament. However, the Puerto Rican system is based on the American system, so the vocabulary corresponds with the American system. Here in Puerto Rico, we have 78 towns, 78 towns which are called municipios, municipios or municipalities. Each town has a mayor, the elected, and it's quite a powerful position because he's in charge of administrating quite a bit of federal and state funding. There are eight congressional districts, eight congressional districts in Puerto Rico. Distrito, distrito is district. When you have a CT in the, the letter combination CT in English, usually you lose the C in Spanish, like subject or object, objeto object, subject, sujeto, it doesn't have a C, it loses the C. Here in Puerto Rico, we have 27 senators, 27 senators and 51 representatives in those eight, eight congressional districts. 51, 51 representatives and 27 senators. Now mayor and city hall is completely different in Spanish. The mayor is el alcalde, el alcalde, el alcalde, unless it's a female, then it's la alcaldesa, la alcaldesa. La alcaldesa de San Juan se llama Carmen Yulín Cruz. The mayor of San Juan is named Carmen Yulín Cruz. La alcaldesa de San Juan se llama Carmen Yulín Cruz. The mayor of San Juan is called Carmen Yulín uh, Cruz. IRS, the IRS or the institution that corresponds and does the job of the IRS in Puerto Rico is called El Departamento de Hacienda. Departamento de Hacienda, the Hacienda Department. Hacienda is really a word that means plantation, as in whoosh, cut that cane, plantation. However, nowadays it means the Internal Revenue Service. Now, if you need a permit, which is permiso, a permit, like a building permit in Spanish, El permiso. If you need a permit, you have to go to the IRS office, which is called la colectoria, la colectoria, and you have to buy sellos, stamps, to get a permit, wherever it might be from. You, you still need these stamps from El Departamento de Hacienda, la colectoria. If you need a vendor's permit, if you're going to be selling something like hot dogs or something, you need what is called a patenta. This word corresponds with the English word patent, but it has a different meaning. It's really a vendor's license. Una patenta, una patenta, una patenta. Taxes in Spanish, in standard Spanish, los impuestos, taxes. Here in Puerto Rico, we often use the Spanish word tax, el tax. Mas el tax, and the tax, mas el tax. We also use the words IVA y IVU, which are abbreviations for our, our local sales tax, IVU y IVA. I believe IVA is Impuesto de Valores Agregados or Añadidos or something like that. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. And moving right along, the grease of the political machine is bribe, the bribe. Bribe in Spanish is soborno, el soborno, el soborno. And also, the basis of any political ideology the lie. The lie in Spanish is la mentira, la mentira. 
lie, the verb, to lie, is mentir, mentir. This is a regular IR ending verb. It's conjugated as such. Well, thank you very much for viewing. I hope you learned something about la politica, especially Puerto Rican politics. Have a great day.